video, I would like to explain you the solution of a gate question. <coughs> it is from the topic of uh, statically indeterminate numericals. So, uh, regarding statically indeterminate numericals, the problem comes with evaluation of compatibility condition. So, you should evaluate the compatibility condition for that loading case. So, it is not same for multiple questions or different questions. So, for that particular question, based upon the situation, you just have to derive the compatibility condition and solve the equations and get the answer. So, let's look into one example, which is a previous gate question. So, where we are going to experience the statical indeterminacy. We will solve the question, we will derive the equation for uh, compatibility condition and get the final answer. Let me read out the question. You can look on the screen. It is given that below figure shows a rigid bar hinged at A and supported in a horizontal position by two vertical identical steel wires. Neglect the weight of the beam, the tension T1 and T2 induced in these wires by vertical load P applied as shown R. In the next slide, you can see here the options. Option A given as T1 is equal to T2 is equal to P by 2. Option B given as T1 is equal to P A L by A square plus B square, comma T2 is equal to P B L by A square plus B square. In the same way, option C, you can see it as T1 as T1 is given as P B L by A square plus B square, T2 is equal to P A L by A square plus B square, and option D, T1 is equal to P A L by A square plus B square, and option uh, in the same option, T2 is given as P B L by 2 into A square plus B square. Let's take the free bar diagram of this particular loading case and write down the equations of static equilibrium. The rigid bar is given like this. It is experiencing a tension of T2 here and here tension is given as T1. It is the edge or the corner point where we are experiencing reaction due to support. I am putting it as R and at the center we are experiencing load B. This dimension is given as L. This is also given as L and this is given as A. and this dimension is given as B. If you take a coordinate system like this, x-axis and y-axis and write down the equilibrium equations. First equation is sigma f suffix x is equal to 0. This gives you nothing because there is no force in x direction. If you take next equation sigma fy is equal to 0. So, according to the quadratic system, you will get T1 plus T2 plus R minus P is equal to 0. Sigma M suffix Z is equal to 0. Now, let us take moment about this point A. There is a point shown as A in the diagram. In the question, you can see. So, moment because of T2 is T2 into B in clockwise sense. So, we will take like this. Clockwise sense as negative. So, T2 into B. In the same way, T1 into A. In the same way, P into L is equal to 0. If you see the equilibrium equations, we have only 2. But there are more than 2 unknowns. Let us count the unknown parameters here. T1 is not known, T2 is not known, R is not known, only P is given. So, 3 unknowns, 2 equations. Not. That means we cannot solve this, these 2 equations and get the answer. And in the question, they are asking for T1 and T2. But to evaluate T1 and T2, we need the value of R also. So, we need an extra equation. So, that equation cannot come from statical equilibrium equations start or static equilibrium equations. So, we need to get by using a compatibility condition. So, here at this point A, okay, I am showing it as point A here. There is support. So, this rigid bar cannot bend or cannot deflect to the point. So, the way in which this particular rigid bar will be bending or deflecting due to these loads will be like this. So, here your steel wire which is here will be experiencing deflection of delta 2. Let us take it as delta 2 and this one that means other steel wire let us take the deflection as delta 1. Okay. Now, let us take this particular triangle. So, the triangle is like this. 
this is delta 2, this is delta 1, let us take this angle as theta and they have given us this particular dimension as B and this one as A. Okay. Now, if you see the question, they have given that T1 and T2 are on two identical steel wires. So, identical in the sense, they are having same area of cross section, same length, same material of course, they are saying it as steel, so both are same. Now, let us take the elongation. So, elongation delta 1 will be written as T1 L by area into X modulus, where length is, L is the length of the wire, area of cross section of the wire, X modulus of the wire. In the same way, delta 2 is T2 L by area into X modulus. So, from these two, because as both are same steel wires, length is same, area will remain same and X modulus will remain same. From this, we will get delta 1 by delta 2 is equal to T1 by T2. But if you see here, if you take tan theta of these two triangles, so you have tan theta as delta 2 by B and delta 1 by A. So, this implies delta 2 by delta 1 is equal to B by A. Here delta 1 by delta 2, so it is A by B. So, we got three equations now. First equation, second equation, third equation. So, you have three equations. Simply solve these three equations, you will get the answer for T1 and T2. So, here this is a compatibility equation. Equation number 3 is the compatibility equation. So, based upon the condition here, compatibility condition here, we are deriving it. If you take the first two equations, those are static equilibrium equations. So, using these three equations, we can evaluate all these three unknowns. But in the question, they are asking us regarding only the T1 and T2 values. So, if you see the options, you can see the options uh, screen on the options uh, slide on the screen here. So, you will get, if you are solving these three equations, you will be getting option B as the correct answer. That means, you will be getting T1 as P A L by A square plus B square and T2 is equal to P B L by A square plus B square. So, you will be getting T1 is equal to P A L by A square plus B square and T2 is equal to P B L by A square plus B square. So, only simple thing is, you just have to understand the question and derive the compatibility condition. Once you correctly derive the compatibility condition, you can get the answer very easily. Simple mathematics. Thank you so much everyone.